How's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So today we're gonna to be discussing luxury items in your bug out bag. What luxury items am I talking about? At least for me. And I'm gonna give you some examples of luxury items that I determine that I don't exactly need, but they're more beneficial than what they weigh. So for some of you may think about these items and go, absolutely not, I'm not putting them in my pack. And that's okay. This is just meant to give you ideas of things that I determine that are luxury items that I don't exactly need, but I think benefit the bag and the capabilities of it massively. So first item, now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna explain a lot of these things and you know show you why do I determine them to be luxury and why do I decide that they're worth it. So first item is a pillow, kind of common, I guess you could say. Pillows are often in packs for camping and hiking and stuff like that. But in, you know, emergency situations, why would I want a pillow in here? This thing weighs about eight ounces. This is a great pillow, really enjoy it. But that is definitely a luxury item. Why would you need that? You could cut nine ounces, eight ounces out of your pack if you just left this at home. You could use your pack as a pillow. You could use your extra clothes as a pillow. That's just a no brainer. But for myself, what I have found by me being in the military, me be sleeping in adverse conditions in third world countries, in training environments and stuff like that, that sleep is extremely difficult to come by, at least good sleep. And you're probably talking maybe two to four hours of sleep max if you're on a rotation. And I've found over the years that if I maximize that two hour window of sleep, as in get good REM or good deep sleep, it helps me for the next day. Now, if I have a terrible sleep system, am I gonna get some sleep? Yes, of course you are. And it's gonna be lighter weight, but in the long run over several days, are you gonna be getting good, restful, promotable sleep to get you back to hopefully 80% the next day to complete your tasks, continue your mission, whatever it is. So I've found I sleep much better with just a pillow. Of course I have a sleeping bag in here, but considering where I am and it gets extremely cold, you need one or you will die. Now you don't really need a pillow, but like I said, better sleep gets better rest and it recover for your body. You can recover from, you know, adverse conditions and stuff like that, especially if you're cold, wet, hungry, that kind of stuff. Sleep makes a big difference. So that is why a pillow goes with me. Next in here, an item that is considered luxury, in my opinion, is camp security. These are small uh, 209 primer camp securities, like as in trip, trip wires is pretty much what, what they are. And I carry four of them with me. And do you really need this? No, they're kind of heavy. I mean, you're talking probably 12 ounces for this whole thing. That's almost a pound just for security. But if I am alone, how do you accomplish security while you are getting that good promotable sleep with your pillow that I just discussed? Especially if you are you know, in adverse conditions and you're worried about somebody walking up on you. Maybe you're stealth camping and you're trying to get through an urban area and you've been hiking for a while in a bug out scenario. These can give you an early warning, you know, trip wire in a way to let you know that someone's coming into your camp and you can wake up. Probably just walk so, through this. I have taken these out in the past. Extremely I kind of back and loud, forth. Man. I go through them and whatnot, but I think they are worth my time. They are worth my weight in my pack because they do something so beneficial that can alert me while I'm sleeping. It's a dual task type of thing. It's like, you know, having automatic fishing um, lures or hooks and stuff like that. You can be doing something else while something else is working for you. And in that realm, it's beneficial. You only have two hands and you only have you sometimes, even if you're, if you're alone, even if you have somebody else and you can do watch and then these are kind of pointless if you have somebody else, but at the same time, both of you could sleep. It's like I said, it's only you. If you can have items that dual purpose and work for you while you're doing other things, that's the benefit to it. So I 
definitely like tripwire alarms. I think they have their place and I do carry them in my pack, especially when I'm alone. Next, this is a big ticket item that's probably gonna upset or not upset a lot of people. Night vision. I specifically carry night vision in my bug out bag. Now these are pretty heavy. These are, you know, bridged together, um, white Foss uh, PVS 14s and they are fairly expensive, but I think, and in my opinion, owning the night massively outweighs the two pounds or roughly of what they are, a little under two pounds, plus uh, some of the accessories like your helmet mount and, you know, what other items I'm going to get into. So you're talking three pounds in a pack, but is three pounds worth it that you can see literally in at any point in time at night see light from a distance and maneuver at night. That's the whole premise of my bag. Moving at night, sleeping and being very, you know, concealed during the day if necessary, if it gets that bad. Because if we're without power, without lights, without, you know, in it and the world's going really bad, we're going to go back to that primitive mindset of, hey, we're going to work work when the sun's up and we're going to sleep when the sun's down. That's just our natural human being rhythm for most um, animals, except for, you know, nocturnal base animals. But for human beings, that's what we do. So if you can flip the script on people, you have a much less chance of running into somebody with night vision, as in being able to sneak around and get to where you need to go undisturbed. So I think these are a massive, massive upgrade in my opinion. So that's why I carry them. Going along with that, okay, so we're getting into batteries and electronics. So I view that recharge capability is also a luxury item. You don't really need this. Now, does this support my night vision to have rechargeable lithiums that I can keep going for a very long time? Now, I get it. You're not supposed to put rechargeable lithiums. I don't. I normally run... Um, Energizer lithiums in those just because they work, but in a last ditch scenario, you're probably going to need to run rechargeable. Same with the battery brick. And then with this is a small power film solar panel. Now, these can be attached to your backpack, and then as you're hiking, or for example, as I am sleeping, I can just lay this out into a sunny area, and this will collect, of course sunlight and it'll recharge the battery in here, which in turn I can go out and recharge my double A's and stuff like that with. So it's pretty much a continuous system. Or if the grid is still kind of reasonably up and you have satellites, you have Garmin satellites. I can text with this via satellite anywhere in the world to anybody. So if I'm in contact with somebody, but if this dies, okay, then you just pitch the weight and it's no big deal. But if I can keep this going and there is somewhat communication potentially going on, then that is a massive benefit. Now, one of the last things, aside from electronics, like I just discussed battery brick and uh, stuff, is I have in here just for, it doesn't ride in here typically, I just pulled it out and it had to go somewhere, but it is an emergency candle. This can actually help you a lot. Now, in my opinion, this is a luxury item. I don't really need it, but this is a nine hour candle. And if I would get extremely cold, as in walking and I just need to warm up my hands, I can throw my rain poncho over the top of me, get down in like a fetal position, light this up right on the ground, and I can put my hands over it. And just a, a minute or a couple minutes underneath a poncho or something, you can get warmed up. I've done it before in rain and whatnot, and it works very, very well for what it is, let's say that. For what it is, it's one candela or one candle power, but it does provide some kind of heat. And if you have this, it's beneficial, especially starting a fire. If you have a big lighter, you can light this. Okay, cool, save all the fuel in your lighter and then use this to start your fire. So now this is continuously going yeah, oh, it didn't take off. Okay, we'll try it again. Oh, we'll take it again. You're not using all the lighter fluid. So this is another item that I highly recommend. These things are really nice around the house too. They're like eight or nine hours they last, roughly. 
um, depending on environment, if it's windy and rainy, it's going to be a lot less because blowing, but in a controlled environment, they're about nine hours, if I recall. So a candle like this, you could even get a smaller one. You could get like cut off one of the, you know, a uh, dining room table candle and stuff and use it. It'd be lighter weight, but this is extremely beneficial and it is a luxury item. In my opinion, you could just use a lighter. You don't need to use things like that. Now, these are all the luxury items from my opinion that I use with my kit. And that's what I think. Now, some people will think other stuff in this kit is luxury for them. And that's fine because you have a different method. You're in a different environment. I mean, the people in Florida are probably looking at me. Why are you carrying a sleeping bag that goes down to, you know, negative 20 degrees? Well, I'm in an environment that goes down to negative 20 degrees. So unfortunately, I have to carry a five pound sleeping bag with me. Cool. If I'm down south. I don't really have to worry about that. You get a lighter pack, but I might make up that weight in other ways. It's all based on Met TC. Yep, I said it. Sorry, but it is what it is. But those are some of my luxury items that I don't exactly need, but I think they outweigh themselves in benefits. So if you guys have luxury items that you think are in your pack and why you have them, it's probably legitimate and you have that. So throw it in the uh, comment section below and let me know about it. If you guys like this kind of stuff, want to see more tips and tricks, definitely like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Like 70% of you are not subscribed. So just hitting subscribe really helps out the channel quite a bit. Greatly appreciate it. If you're looking for some of these items, I will link them in the description box below the best that I can to assist you. So it's easy, one-stop shop. You just go over there, Amazon, click all the links and you get whatever you want. And yes, I make a few cents off of certain items. It's it's really not that much. People think that you make a lot of money off that. But if you buy this candle, I literally probably get a penny. <laughs> That's it. So thanks for, you know, getting me a gumball every couple months. <laughs> so anyways, have a great day.